Hi, and welcome to CPAaccountantsIrvine.com. Let's talk about profit and loss. It might seem like a no-brainer to define just exactly what profit and loss are, but of course, these have definitions like everything else. Profit can be called different things for a start. It's sometimes called net income or net earnings. Businesses that sell products and services generate profit from the sales of those products or services and from controlling the attendant costs of running the business. Profit can also be referred to as return on investment or ROI. While some definitions limit ROI to profit in investments in such securities as stock or bonds, many companies use this term to refer to short-term and long-term business results. Profit is also sometimes called taxable income. It's the job of the accounting and financial professionals to assess the profits and losses of a company. They have to know what created both and what the results of both sides of the business equation are. They determine what the net worth of a company is. Net worth is the resulting dollar amount from deducting a company's liabilities from its assets. In a privately held company, this is also called owner's equity. Since anything that's left over after all the bills are paid, to put it simply, belongs to the owners. In a publicly held company, this profit is returned to the shareholders in the form of dividends. In other words, all liabilities have the first claim on any money that companies make. Anything that's left over is a profit. It's not delivered from one element or another. Net worth is determined after all liabilities are deducted from the assets, including cash and property. Let's talk about profits. Showing a profit or a positive figure on the balance sheet is of course the aim of every business. It's what our economy and society is built on. It doesn't always work out that way. Economic trends and consumer behaviors change. It's not always possible to predict these and the impact they'll have on companies' performance. If you have a checking account, of course you balance it periodically to account for differences between what's in your statement and what you wrote down for checks and deposits. Many people do it once a month when their statement is mailed to them. But with the advent of online banking, you can do it daily if you're the sort whose banking tends get away from them. You balance your checkbook to note any changes in your checking account that you haven't recorded in your checkbook. Some of these can include ATM fees, overdraft fees, special transaction fees, or low balance fees, if you're required to keep a minimum balance of, in your account. You also balance your checkbook to record any credits that you haven't noted previously. They might include automatic deposit or refunds, other electronic deposits, your checking account might be an interest-bearing account and you want to record any interest that it's earned. You also need to discover if you've made any errors on your record keeping or if the bank has made any errors. Another form of accounting that we all dread is the filing of annual federal income tax returns. Many people use a CPA to do their returns. Other do, others do it themselves. Most forms include the following items. Income, any money you've earned from working or owning assets, unless these are specific exem exemptions from income tax. Personal exemptions, this is a certain amount of income that is excluded from tax. Standard deductions, some personal expenditures or business expenses can be deducted from your income to reduce the taxable amount of income. These expenses include items such as interest paid on your home mortgage, charitable contributions, and property taxes. Taxable income. This is the balance of income that's subject to taxes after personal exemptions and deductions are factored in. How would you like to make a profit when you're filing your returns? 
Accountants are responsible for preparing three primary types of financial statements for a business. The income statement reports the profit making activities of the business and the bottom line profit or loss from a specific period. The balance sheets report the financial position of the business at a specific point in time, often the last day of the period. The statement of cash flows reports how much cash was generated from profit and what the business did with this money. Everyone knows profit is a good thing. It's what our economy is founded on. It doesn't sound like a, such a big deal. Make more money than you spend to sell or manufacture products. But of course, nothing's ever really simple, is it? A profit report or net income statement first identifies the business and the time period that is being summarized in that report. Let's talk about income statement. You read an income statement from the top line to the bottom line. Every step of the income statement reports the deduction of an expense. The income statement also reports changes in assets and liability as well. So that if there's a revenue increase, it's either because there's been an increase in assets or a decrease in company's liability. If there's been an increase in the expense line, it's because there's been either decrease in assets or an increase in liability. Net worth is also referred to as owner's equity in the business. They're not exactly interchangeable. The net worth expenses are the total of assets less the liability. Owner's equity refers to who owns the assets after the liability are satisfied. For more information and to schedule a free consultation, please visit us at cpa-accountant-irvine.com.